सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉक अबाउट क्यू आर कोड्स वट आर क्यू आर कोड्स वट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ क्यू आर कोड्स सो क्यू आर कोड इज सिंपली अ क्विक रिस्पॉन्स कोड इट इज अ टू डिमेंशनल बार कोड दैट कैन बी रीड बाय दूर स्मार्टफोन और यूर मोबाइल डिवाइसिस कैमराज नाउ वर्ड इज सो क्यू आर कोड विल बी यूज टू स्टोर अ वराइटी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इंक्लूड द यू आर एल कॉन्टैक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक द टेक्सट एस एम एस और यूर लोकेशन टू इट वॉज फर्स्ट डिवेल्प इन द नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर बाई द डेंसो वे विच इज अब्सिडरी ऑफ द टोइटा इट वॉज ओरिजिनली यूज टू ट्रैक द ऑटोमोबिल पार्ट बट नाउ अ डेज इट बिकम्स वेरी ट्रेंडी वेन यू गो टू एनी रेस्टोरेंट यू विल सी यू हैव अ मेन्यू कार्ड और बार कोड ऑन योर टेबल रेस्टोरेंट टेबल एंड यू विल सिंपली स्कैन इट एंड देन यू विल सी अ लिंक वेन यू क्लिक ऑन इट यू विल सी द होल मेन्यू कार्ड ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर रेस्टोरेंट सो सिमिलर वे इट विल बी यूज इन मल्टी डोमेन्स लाइक मार्केटिंग टू एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स एजुकेशनल पर्पज ई कमर्स सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म एंड फॉर द ट्रेवल ब्लॉग्स टू so in this post we are going to be basically learn how we can create our own qr code in dot net core using for multiple applications like for sending sms normal text sms whatsapp sms or how we can store our wifi password you can achieve many more things with the qr code but for in this demo we are only focusing these four functionality and to achieve this we are going to be use one of the new get open source library that is qr code so let's quickly go jump to our coding environment so i am using visual studio 2022 click on create project and now here type mvc ASP .NET MVC MVC here you have a template ASP .NET Core web app that you need to be choose click next choose the directory and a suitable name for your application I am choosing barcode generator choosing your suitable directory click next now choosing your suitable framework I am using .NET 7.0 configure HTTPS. I don't need it for this demo. Click create. It will create a nice little MVC application for you. So the very first thing that you need to be before starting is go to your NuGet packages. Click on solution. Now go to the manage NuGet packages. Here we don't have any library installed so far. So in the browse section, search for QR coder. Now this is the very first library that you will see on the top of the list written by the Rafael Herman. This QR code will be used for multiple purpose. It will provide many more functionality. But in this demo, we are only focus on send SMS, normal text SMS, WhatsApp SMS. How we can compose email using our own QR code or simply store our own Wi-Fi QR code. So click on install. Click OK. This will install. the qr code library into our project simply over there we can verify that and then the next step is click on the model create model for our application so that we can pass data from controller to view okay so name the model as qr model so here we are going to be name a model qr code model code model to save our time i have my model ready over here so simply is that and let's look over the properties so in this model i have firstly two properties qr code type what type of qr code it is whether it is a sms whatsapp sms email or your wifi and then your base 64 image or image url for your qr code and then based upon the different qr codes that we are going to be use in this demo based upon that we have our own properties like for sending a email we need a receiver email address subject and sms same for the sms i need a phone number and the body same for the whatsapp sms i need a whatsapp app number and message and lastly your wifi name and the password now click on save don't worry about the source code you will get it on the github in your video description 
now go to the controller click add and new controller here we are going to be choose mbc mt controller name a suitable controller name i am giving a barcode generator and moving one from the end here you go so here we have our code ready we will discuss that in a bit okay so let me unpin this so that we have a clear view so firstly in my index view what i am doing going to be do is i am going to be pass a qr model to my view so that i have all the properties so that i can bind my view to my model and then after that after i post that particular form here you can see i have my payload that this code we will discuss once we have the our view ready so quickly add a breakpoint over here and then let's create a view for our demo click on add view we are going to be choose a razor view empty and add a view over there now simply go there let's quickly create our view to and understand the code so in this what we are going to be do is first thing is we pass our model to a view then i am creating a nittle license nittle form using bootstrap classes so first element in my form is a selection list what type of qr code it is it is a sms whatsapp email and wifi then i have a form for my sms body then whatsapp and then email and lastly a wifi similar way on the bottom i have two buttons one is for generating a qr code another is reset and similar way on the bottom i have my qr code email url and on the bottom of my view i have a script that is used to you know hide the forms when i am choosing the qr code type whether it is sms and qr code type so let's quickly run this see what kind of view it is how it look likes so over here we can see i have my mvc landing page i will go to my page controller that i created controller name is barcode generator so simply copy that paste it into the url you will see a form over there so in this form i have as i told you i have a selection list sms whatsapp email based upon that i have my forms so if i choose the email you will see a email receiver address subject and sms for the whatsapp i need two fields for the wifi i need a three fields so this is a plain simple view okay so let's try our first using the whatsapp i am entering my number with my country code now entering my message whatsapp message from qr code now hit generate we have a breakpoint on the http post method now let's try to understand firstly for creating any qr code we need a payload this payload class is from qr code payload generator so this is being used like what type of payload or qr code data we need to be generated we need to be first prepare a payload for it based upon the qr type we have selected we have selected two that is used for whatsapp sms so based upon that we will generate our qr code whether it is sms whatsapp email and qr code you will create your payload for each of them okay now in this code it will create a payload for the whatsapp once we have our payload with all the information then we will create a qr code generator object then a qr code data that will use the payload that we created in the step 1 this will generate our qr code data that will be used when we are scanning our qr code and then bitmap byte qr code again it is belong to the qr code library which exposes a function get graphics this will generate or gives us the bytes back if you simply go to the qr code get graphics method definition you will see it will gives back the byte to us byte array so when you have a byte array we will convert that byte array into the base64 string and we will create our image using the base64 string that is the quickest way 
so here we are binding our qr image url property of model and we are returning that model back to our view and hit continue here you go you have your qr code now simply pause the video and scan this qr code you will see when you are going to be scan it from your mobile you will have the options over there for when the moment you scan the qr code you will see option over there you will click on it and you will see your whatsapp will open with the typed sms that we type on the top whatsapp email qr code same if you will try your with the email to i am going to enter email that is the qr code subject and same uh, qr code email message again click on the generate click continue you will see a qr code on the bottom again pause a video scan this qr code you will see you have option of send email the moment you scan this with your camera and the subject and message will be automatically written for your email so qr code is very powerful nowadays it is very handy when you want to share your pin location or your business area or message whatever you want to be convey simply create this qr code paste it in your any of the vehicle or outside your building or to whom you want to be share this simply so this is a very quickest way how we can generate our qr code using the dotnet core application thanks for watching if you have any doubts or any query you can post it into the comment section thanks see you later